Hello group, Jeff here. Today what I want to show is how you can add satellites to the field of view in Stellarium. And uh, what I have found is that with the Starlynx uh, launch rate going up, uh, it's good to know where the orbits are of the trains because they can really ruin your shots. So let's go, and if we get lucky, we might even see one of the trains. There's at least two up there right now, and by the end of the month, of this month, May of 2021, there could be six more. So it's not gonna get better. So I will open up Stellarium. And I have my background in right now. Let's see. What you can see right here. But we won't worry about that at the moment. And what I want to do is go into the configuration window to plugins, satellites. I want to load this at startup. I should have saved that, sorry. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close Stellarium because you have to reboot. And what we should see when Stellarium opens is all the sets. So I'll get rid of the, whoops, sorry. Let me get rid of the, where is it? Landscape, I'll just do a generic landscape here. And if we look real close, there's a, there's a Starlink satellites all over the sky. <laughs> all these, that's Starlink, 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 Starlink all over and last night I thought I saw something unusual pop up on my Stellarium and because I leave the satellites on what caught me by surprise was the actual train of Starlink satellites and let me go to my north so that we can see Polaris. There we go. So what hurts me is the first 800 or so Starlinks, their orbits kind of go like this. And then they'll swoop down and then they come back up and then they swoop down again. So I get the double whammies. The and then uh, I would say from 1,200, or they might be up to 1,800. Anyways, what's hap gonna happen is they're gonna start sending polar orbits up from uh, Vandenberg. And uh, where you'll see that is in here because they'll all have to run through this quadrant of the sky as they go uh, from north to south. So I get the whammy here and then I'm going to start getting the whammy through here. And uh, for those that say there's not a lot of satellites in the sky, these are all geos right here. All these are geos. All of those satellites are geos. And now we're throwing up to 40,000 Starlinks 
into this picture. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about you, but they have ruined more of my stacks this year. And it's almost making the stacks unusable because you're getting sats flying through it. And these, this is on my C14 with, with uh, a very narrow field of view. I can only imagine what it's going to be like once, once I get the Raza going. So now that we have the sats started, let me show you how you update the database. So we'll go back to satellites. We'll go into configure. And what I like to do is to check the following. And if you noticed when I clicked on orbit line, you can see that there's orbit lines here. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes, let me get rid of these real fast. Here's a train right through here. Now they're starting to spread out. So these, this would have been two launches ago. And you can see how they're starting to dip down now. So this is how they come through my area. They go up and then they come back down. Then they'll come up and then they'll go back down. Now I'm kind of compressing it a little bit, but you can see that uh, <laughs> here's a train right here. Now this is an older launch. I would say this is probably from two weeks ago. And you can see how they, they're starting to spread. The orbits are starting to change just enough uh, that they're spreading out. And the sky is going to get so full of these damn things that it's really, you're going to have to not, you're going to have to come up with new ways to stack. So whether that's saving out your in, images individually uh, so that you can weed through the uh, satellite streaks or you just put up with it and I don't do I don't make a stack to have sats fly through it I make a stack to see whatever my target is <laughs> so let's go back to the configurator and this gray line is an orbit this shows an orbit of I don't know if it's in, oops, there it is. So it's just leaving, so I usually leave that off. So what we want to do is the sources. The sources is all of the data that you can download. And of course, if you checked on all these, the sky would be so full it would uh, not be much fun. So I kind of stick with what they have uh, pre-selected for you and find that this, this kind of covers my needs and uh, if we go to the listing, you'll see that this is all of the satellites that are being downloaded. Uh, oh, that's the satellite that it was tracking. That's the, where is it? So let me get down to Starlink here, and you'll see that Starlink is a huge list. There's the Starlink. So Starlinks are blue and they go for quite a ways. <laughs> They're up to 2,000, 2100, 22, 23, 24. So there's 2,580 Starlinks 
Now, this does not account for the ones that have been deorbited, but that's how many they have launched. As, as the ones that get deorbited or they come out of service, they, will, they get removed from the database. So what you do is after you have every, if you just want to check your sources. If you find something that you want to, uh, you want to add, you can add it. And then you go here and you want to update. And the update will tell you how many satellites it's updated. And we can see that there was almost 100 more satellites added and then one removed. And that one removed is probably one that, that got de that deorbited. So now I will save these settings. I will go to here and I'll save those settings. And you turn those on and off right here, the little satellite icon. So here's a train of Starlinks. Now how fortuitous is this? You can see that they run from there to there. And you can see them all coming. So this is probably the last launch. Uh, from the last launch. And here's the first one right here. Starlink 2484. And it just runs from there all the way down to here. And that's called a Starlink chip, uh, train. And in the month of March alone, we could have four of these, minimum of four of these, and a maximum of six of these. And it takes, from what I understand, anywhere from 30 to 60 days for these things to orbit, find their orbits. So what they're doing is they're uh, raising their orbit, and then they spread out. So just imagine six to eight more of these trains flying through the sky and what that's going to do. <laughs> Some, I, I, I don't know what can be done, but I think that this is just not what man was meant to do. Destroy the night sky. Because he can. So anyways, this is uh, what a Starlink train looks like in Stellarium. Just amazing. We're so smart yet so stupid. So if you have any questions on how to uh, add sets to Stellarium, you know where I live. We'll see you in the group. Thanks.